Hey everyone, let's talk about HL7 troubleshooting. First, let's consider how you will know there's an HL7 problem. HL7 problems will get reported in two ways. One, you will see errors in your HL7 monitoring software. All radiology applications have some form of a dashboard or administrator portal. The dashboard will have a red light if an interface is stopped. The other way you will find out about an HL7 problem is a tech will call you because they can't find an order on the modality work list. You will have to ask some questions and do some investigating to determine if it's an HL7 problem or a DICOM problem. So this is what an interface dashboard will look like. The green lights in the center indicate everything is good. If one of them had turned red, where it says stop would then say start, you would click next to it, click start, that would restart the interface. So what causes HL7 interface errors? There are six common HL7 interface errors. They are segment sequence errors, required field missing error, data type error, unsupported message type error, unsupported event code error, and unsupported version ID. Each of these have an error code. Error code 100 means the segments are not in the right order. Error code 101, a required field is missing. Error code 102, the information in a field does not match the data type that is coded for that field. For example, if you put letters in a field that was coded for numbers. Error code 200 means the message type is not supported by the interface. Error code 201 is the event code is not supported. And error code 203 means that version of HL7 is not supported. Troubleshooting HL7 issues involving an error code are pretty easy because the message got to the PAC system and got rejected. This gives you an error code in the ACK to work from. In other words, you have all the information at your disposal to diagnose the problem. The harder ones to solve are the messages that never get to PACs. For messages that don't make it to PACs, such as ADTs and ORMs, you will need help to diagnose these problems. The resources you want to contact are the admin for the sending system and the interface engine engineer. They will be able to help you track where and why the message failed. So remember your, your hospital workflow. For orders or admissions that don't make it to PACs, consider the interface flow. Is the breakdown between the hospital information system and the interface engine? Is it between the interface engine and the wrist? Is it between the wrist and the PACs? Since you don't control all these systems, you won't have access to their dashboard or interface logs, which is why you'll need help to troubleshoot the messages that don't arrive in PACs. Thursday in class, we'll work through some messages with error codes. See you then.